for this. So based on these shape, um, the cast. There's a word for this type of bowl. I don't remember. I crowd bolt, maybe. Yeah, not. So now um, this section. I use that as a reference from the beginning, but I mean, if you don't want it, you can just shorten it or longer. So, but um, we use that to, uh, I use this shape to be a guideline for the size of the, uh, the thread. And um, the thread, when we build, will not be dense like this. I mean, the, the, uh, the division on the uh, axis will not be that much when we start it. And then uh, we need to add because we wanted to stop continuity. So I, I need to add more, actually. Uh, however, because of the object will be small, it uh, will be kind of almost hidden some point on the overall shape of the hydrant. There's no need to add more detail than what we already have. So it depends on like um, how close up your model need to be. So we just start a little early, just explain it. And um, so now to build any shape, basically we haven't really take, I, I think you guys, let me create a new scene quick. So um, I'm going to turn on wireframe um, grid. Under create menu polygon primitive, I'm going to tear these off. Let's talk a little bit about it. So we got sphere, right? cube, cylinder, cone, plane, disk. There we go something that Maya allow us to get started quick. It's called primitive object because nerves also have primitive also. So now when you started to, uh, when you're making a plan to build something, basically you want it to start it from the existing primitive because it's easier then you try to figure it out how to get, how to build that beginning shape so here we go so all of these are an option and um now on the uh, poly modeling tab is when you have to um Normally, what am I doing? Sorry, sorry. There we go. So, if you're going to look for some extra primitive polygon surface, I would suggest you to go to create polygon primitive and look at all of this. Now, each primitive, as you remember, you have an input so that you can modify the shape, resolution, and the look of your model to be appropriate with uh, the beginning of the modeling. Like for example, with this shape, if you're gonna use only a vertical column, there's no need to have a resolution on the vertical. So the vertical height division, I would reduce like this. Also, you can change the uh, uh, spacing. Can you see? There's a lot of parameters that allow you to modify the shape a little bit. There we go. Gear tip. See? So, same thing as this. I'm not going to talk about all of this because you can play around with those options later. But this is the shape that kind of give us a little direction of the thread. So 
we can modify this of course how many coils you want the height there we go and the width and the radius the width or radius make it smaller can you see so with this model what we're going to try to do is we try to come up with a way that um how many we want a kind of triangle look if you look at on let, let me do it right here division if i reduce it to four can you see and when i look at this i could try to think of the way to connect the spade between this that's all i need and how how dense are the the gap between each coil so it depends on the height right you can figure it out how many number how you're going to connect them like in this idea if i do just this select that face and double click i get all around inside and then i can delete it and i can kill this part because i need to figure it out how to connect them later and then i have to connect all of this so for example i could do something like this i can get started with object mode append to polygon 2 and append it and here we go so look like this here we go and this is just a talk about concept first here we go and then I could do select this loop, the bottom loop, and then go back. Oh, that's wrong. I wanted to do like this. And here we go. So, oh, still select reverse. Let me do like this and subtract that instead. Otherwise, I have to keep. Uh, select section by section so now i can bridge um i can't do bridge like this it's just i think this version is a little bulky i should be able to okay i know what i need to do i need to skip this instead make it harder <laughs> last version i could do it i could skip like this okay let me delete that I could do one there and on the bottom right here we go. Now I got it. Oh, too far. Let me subtract. And then that one to this one. And I can bridge. Oh, still. How about that one? It just um it's, it's not the same selection like a, it has to be equal number from top and bottom and then now i can go to object mode and then go to append and then i just finish that part so and then i just figure it out how to connect this all the way to here now luckily we are not do that resolu this resolution we're gonna do only max six sizes oh it depends on the bolt to match with the bolt size of the uh face so now let's get started you got an idea already what we is about to do so i'm gonna start it with cylindrical and look at on my look at on the uh reference of the bolt yes Are you recording? yes i did right. and um Thank you. You guys need to remind me because sometimes I, I'm getting old. So, <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six side. Really easy because when you have six side, you have six side to work with on the thread. So it's way less than what we, what I showed to you. Now, um, I'm gonna open the uh, sorry the the previous one because so that you know that what the placement you could do uh, what you should do um, now 
first thing we need to do is we create a new cylinder. One of them will have a hole, so it's better to start it with no hole on the cylinder. And I'm gonna just move to position, make sure we, we uh, um, at this point, the reason is um, I want to see the size. So, but we're gonna put this back to the origin, okay? So right now we just want to see the size. So, and you could just stick right on the center. It doesn't have to shift it yet. We just want to see the size. So, um, radius, let's try 0 0.75. Nope, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. I think 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 would be fit. Let's look at the picture. So it's about one section here, like uh, within that span. So I think my is 0.4. I could, yes, let's do 0.4. Let me move this to see. We want it to be bigger than the hole. I think that's it. That's about right. So 0.4. Now, put this back to origin point zero because it's easier to work on the origin point. Now, I'm gonna hide all of these layer. If you don't have a layer, um, you create a new layer by selecting object, layer, create selected object. I already have uh, um, this layer, let me rename it. There we go. So I'm gonna select this object, right click on the layer I wanted to assign to, and then just add selected object. Now I can hide it. There we go. So the first column, uh, the first square is visibility. Second square is preview for animation. We will not use this at all. The third square is the layer type. Right now is normal or, stand, uh, or normal layers. Second one, when you click become T is um, template layers. When you cycle cycle one more, you get uh, R is referencing. So the referencing is when you press five, you see the surface. Template, even though you are on five, five is a smooth and shared all you will see wireframe more, that's all. So I'm gonna hide it, because I don't need that. So let me turn on a grid, there we go. So that is right on the grid, on the center of the grid, okay. So now we already know that subdivision is six, so press six, that's all we need. The center though, we want more cap. And uh, now, what you could do is you can add, oops, you can add cap to two, just to get started and press one. Here we go, it looked like this. And now the height obviously is too long. I'm gonna try to be, how about point four? And if it's too thick, you can reduce it like point two, point three, five. How about, I'm gonna choose point three five. You can change them later by move up and down, things like that. So now, this section though, we are gonna try to make it big to fit with this hole, right? Yep, right there, this part. So, you might need to move this back, just to right here, still on the floor, just reposition and then we'll bring it back again. So, I want the whole, uh, the, uh, uh, the body of the, uh, the crowd bolt, the inside to be about the same size of the circle. Now my circle, I have this section, it's okay. It's a little distorted, okay. Luckily, we don't see it. Uh, 
if you don't want distortion, you need to really go back and work on the uh, cr uh, on the body and move this, this uh, move vertex to that direction a little bit, or split different way. Leave this as a one uh, 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 full uh, full corner. So one and two, three, four, and get rid of that. So now, um, the subdivision cap need to be scaled it up. Well, just remember, when you started to alter the position of the component, doesn't matter what component is, you will not be able to go back and change this setting. It will distort the sh surface. Maya doesn't do good on this part. 3D Max do much better. You can go back and forth and alter it. So what you try to do is you're going to scale, but scale uh, non-uniform but only two axes, uniform two axes, Z and X. So I'm going to grab a green plane and then scale it. I think this is big enough. It might be too big, sorry. How about that? Oh, oh, wait a minute. We don't have to make it close to the original hole because I remember um, it will work. So just a bit, a little bit bigger. Here we go. Like that. So now, when I look at on the close up, see, I select both top and bottom. I want them to be equal. And we can use this bolt for uh, this top part of the crowd bolt to be a knot. So, Right now, let's go ahead, control D to duplicate this. This is going to be a knot, right? So select all of them. Sorry, you should duplicate later. Let's move it back. We already get the size of the inside. Now you can grab one of these and just move it away. That's it. The reason that we do this so that we don't have to do uh, so that we don't have to figure it out the side again. This is going to be the hole inside. Um, actually, you don't even need to build the hole actually because you can't really see it when you stick it on, unless it's required for three D print. I did print this out that you can really screw it with a three D plastic. So I'll bring it next time. Um, so. We're going to just leave that there and we focus on this. And um, now, one thing I need select, double click the edge loop from the top and the bottom. We're going to bevel it because the uh, bolt shape, a little bevel. So we're going to bevel it. To bevel, shift right mouse click and bevel edges here we go we press five look like this now the fraction is the space of the bevel segment is the number of the section that run along the axis so this is obviously too big how about point one i think maybe point one five a little bit pronounced we just want to see pronounced to, to make it a little more pronounced. And um, when I build it, I even have a slant on the. Uh, let's see if we look at close up if they really have it. It does have, can you see? So in this case, what we could do is we could bevel it more. Let me think the best, the, the easy way. Last time I did a little, let's look at on the top view. Let me hide this. Yeah. Phi F. Sorry. Right there. Basically, we want to kind of try to cut them. Let's do a bevel this way like this and um, might be a good idea 
to do only one side and then we're going to mirror to the bottom so that I mean especially if this is the first time you try to analyze it better to do only one side so bevel it one more time here we go it will look like this and I think let's do a little less 0.25 that's good enough 0.25 and um, actually sorry guys let's do part 3 <laughs> it just doesn't look what do you call it? looks obvious we wanted to see like really see it that is let's turn off the uh, wireframe on shared see we just want to see it when we turn it off wireframe on shared okay so now we need to work on little this press. Let's press three to see how it looks. Don't worry about that yet because we didn't do a discontinuity. So um, I believe when we zoom this in, I just try to talk about how I analyze it. See, there's a circular happening on the center, not on the center, on the top. So it means we got to stop continuity on this section somehow. So press one. I'm gonna do we can't really insert another loop here. Can you see I hold control key? It doesn't work. It's just because of these are more than full corner. One, two, three four five six no one two three four five oh it's really six <laughs> okay I, I thought it would be five but my calculation is incorrect so we're gonna have to do this first we're gonna add loop inside really closely or you can extrude actually let me do like this one two three just extrude it and then offset just a tiny bit, 0 0.01, like a little bit. The reason is because we want to enlarge this loop. So let's do it a little closer. Now press 3 to see. Now it's getting better. It's closer, right? Like, like this loop. Press 1 back. I could do a little more. Now we have to figure it out. We need to connect this to there because we want to eliminate six corner. Now, yes. How do we turn off these lights right here? Uh, wh which one? The lights right here. Oh, light! Oh, oh, that. Um, can you see that panel? Yeah. And I don't remember. I don't remember which one is which. Try it, all of them, <laughs> until you find it. Here we go. No, thank, thanks to you to do that. I forgot about that. So, now, if you are able to, how about this? Hey, guys, I think, let's, let's do manual. I think too much again. I, I should have followed my plan. <laughs> Let, undo, please. Undo, sorry, sorry. Let's follow my original plan. I start, um, we're going to have to split this. So you go to my multi-cut, cut it from here. So make sure you click on the existing line drop until you stop at the corner because you ensure that it will merge and fuse to that corner and link it to there. Basically, when you do that, can you see if I count one, two, three, four, perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now, I'm going to just go all the way, all the way, Oop. I lost with middle mouse so I have to do it again manually. So go all the way, here we go. So now we get something like this and same as this section, you need to cut them 
all the way. So that has become full corner. Like I mentioned, only three and four. No more than four, no less than three, because you can't do on three. There we go. Now, what about the bottom? You could manually do it, or let's mirror it this time. So, before we mirror, we have to cut, split them in half. I'll give you a few minutes. When we split them in half, we can just mirror half of it on top, and then go to the bottom half. Are you guys able to get that shape? Let's press 3, see how it looks. I think it looks good. It, because we're going to uh, stop continuity and it will form the bolt shape, the knot shape. There we go. So now, when you're ready though, split in half, you hold control key with middle mouse click. It will split 50% on that span. And then you just delete the bottom part. There we go. Because later on, when we mirror it, we're going to have to cut this down, all the way down. Because right now, oh, no, no, we don't. It's already done. Yes. So when you're done, Let's go to object mode, shift right mouse click, turn on border edges so that we can see where the border is. And I think we forgot, heads up display, under display, heads up display, poly count, so that we know how many vertices we are select or edge. So go to object mode. Shift right mouse click, choose mirror, open up option. Now, this time we have open cap only one, pa one place. We could do merge border vertices. If you have another open area right here, you can't do that. It will not merge correctly. So this time we can. And let's use bounding box. So that it used the bounding box of, I mean, of the entire object. So this bounding box will hit right there. Exactly the same because there's nothing pursued. If you look at on uh, font size, see, it's straight line. So this will be perfect. We merge it for us. Oh, wrong assets. These are belong to Y asset. Let's turn on move to so that we can see. And um, might be a good idea if you double click on move to it's when it's set to object mode, it's mean bounding box will use the object mode. So when we see object mode is this direction, it will be correctly. Sometimes though, um, if you on word space, let me rotate this. Here we go. And gonna, can you see? That's based on the, oh, you can see right, right here. That's based on the word space. But the object space is different. It's like this. So if we choose bounding box, it will use object space, and then it will m uh, mirror correctly. If you use object, it will merge, but may not correctly, because look at the pivot point of the object mode. It's not right there. It's here. So it will merge right there. It will be thinner. So. Be careful about that. I'm going to go to bounding box and I'm going to rotate it back. There we go. Because bounding box doesn't look at center, uh, at the pivot point of the object mode. It look at on the border of the bounding box. So when I click positive, these are set on positive because it's right on that direction. This direction is negative values. So when I click apply, we're done. And if you think that this is not necessary, no, it's actually it's not necessary segment. We can get rid of it afterward. 
we use that just to do mirror. That's it. And then we eliminate it. So now let's press 3. Okay. We got to stop continuity. So let's go back. We may have, let's cut. Now, we will have to have this. Here we go. One. Let's try that. Two. Press three. Here we go. So it's sharp now. And on the top, still going to be a uh, full corner. We may lose the roundness. If we lose, lose the roundness, we will uh, extrude this section. Basically, it has to have somewhere to stop. So um, let's cut it first. Actually, I got an idea. Don't do it yet, okay? Let, let me show you what it is. Um, oh, sorry. Let's do it together. Let's stop continuity right here. Let's do it. Like really close and press 3. Here we go. So that we can figure it out how to stop this not going inward. Okay. So now you can cut. You might want to do shift. Oh, sorry. Shift is let's let's double. Uh, hey guys, sorry, sorry. Uh, let's double click on select uh, multi cut to reduce the step snap step to five. See, we could get really close. Hold control and shift. See, five mice right there. Let me press three to see. I would make it sharper. Press it one. Let's undo. Let's do point two, uh, 2.5. Oh, 2.5. Oh, wait a minute. You can't do 2.5. So <laughs> let's do just only three or two or three. I thought we could do 2.5. So let's try two. See if I can snap really close. That's better. Oh. There we go. So that you get. How come this side is closer? Let me. I think my angle might be incorrect. Let's delete that. It's basically just try to make it. Oh, here we go. Yes. I know I didn't move it too close enough. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. And we're going to redirect this section right here. We don't want it to go all the way there. Because if all the way there, we're going to lose spherical. Right? So I want you to connect just from here to there. There you go. And Double click, delete those edge, press 3. Here we go. Now I got circle inside. Still have a circle in there. So basically, we think, uh, we, we try to analyze like, where can we stop? You could actually stop from here too. Right there. Let's make it three corner, just right there. I just want to show you that the possibility. Here we go, and you double click, shift double click, shift right mouse click, and choose delete edge. Press 3. Okay. I think, let me turn off wife deselect. Well, it's not really round enough. That's okay. I think this is good enough. And, um, Check on the bottom. We have to do the same. Or if you like, let's do only one and re mirror it. Okay. So now let me take a look at this section three. That's okay. Okay. Let's do one side and then we mirror it. Easier. Shift. Here we go. Oh. I'm going to just cut all of them first and then rearrange that line later
strokes mean you cut incorrectly. Okay. It has to be uh, try it again. Now I'll go check. Let me. Like this. Oh, how did I get two of them? I don't know why I cut it more. It looked like this after I cut. You can do either way from there to here or just from here. Can you see it? Let me go to object mode. Here we go. Like this. Yeah, understandable. So now, I'm missing one. Oh, right here. Okay. Let me. Hey guys, let's cut the bottom. Take it out. The bottom. Here you go. Because sometimes if you cut one at a time it will stop continuity somewhere so y you will get confused so let's do it like this and then let me try again one more time because i actually i don't really like that layout at all that's okay just keep it simple Oop. here we go to there Let me reset the tool. Hey guys, when you finish the snap on the uh, multi-cut tool, if you double click on it, reset it too. So that when we try to do another model, it won't keep snapping 2%. It keeps snapping 10. And then I'm gonna delete that. You see? Oh, that's what it is. They are connected because Yes, so um, the reason that it has such a weird geometry, like uh, more than what I need, because um, this will happen to you too. Split it first, all, all, all six sides, split it first, and then you delete it and modify it after. Oh, okay, that's what I was getting Yep. Okay. So mine too. Yep, because when you do one at a time, it causes more problem because when you do one collect so the other side become full so it will run run the whole loop uh, across to the other way because the loop is belong to full corner up uh, it will work only with full corner well it's even though i um control z all of the uh, undo So just keep undo until like nothing, uh, like from the beginning. Go, go back to the original. Okay. Original before you cut anything. So that you won't be confused. Because I almost confused too. But now I got it. So I'm going to just keep cutting before I started to delete. Like the thick line that I have, can you see? That's not open border. It's another loop that keep running. <laughs> so I gotta delete it. Here we go. I make a mistake on that part. That one too. That loop. Okay. Let's cut it first. Yes, it there's just like one side where it's like all, every single one of the cuts works fine except one of them. So you might have to just delete the face. How about this? Let me stop this video and.